Hello, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. I am Luke and today we're going to react to Pascal's Wager Definitive Edition. Now this was originally a mobile game, I believe, and it's now on Steam. All right, I've done a little bit of reading up, at, up front of this video. Uh, it released on the 12th of March and it is a... We, we hate this term. It's overused, but it's a Souls-like game. So you can imagine it's like an action RPG. There's going to probably be some character progression. Um, character development, you're going to be able to build different characters, so you know, if you go for a, a strength build, a dex build, maybe, I don't know, um, a magic build, I'm assuming it's probably going to be in there as well. So um, it's one of those types of games, and uh, with, with the element of challenge, great boss battles, tough enemies, and probably some tricky levels with some cheesy little bits where people jump out on you and kill you, and you lose all of your equipment, souls, and uh, progression. And you have to start from the very beginning again. Question your own life. And what you're doing with it. And why you're playing the game. It's one of those games. So, will your God bless me this time? I'm sorry, Terence, but nobody can leave the Dark Mist alive. He was my only choice. You should never trust someone. Okay, to it's not. The graphics are a little. It's very unique. It looks very unique. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw it out there, right? I, like I said, I only know about this game what I've read a little bit before this video, and uh, I, I'm not I'm not completely involved in this world. I, I love Dark Souls games. Dark Souls Three might be my favorite game ever. Um, I finished all of them, so you know I'm a, I'm a gamer. I'm a gamer. Um, this looks like it is a PlayStation Two game, in my opinion. From what I'm seeing here, this looks like a PlayStation Two game. Uh, I am not overly blown away by the visuals of this, and as th there are many games in in the genre of Souls like, and when they're not done well, um, they're very bad. They're very bad. Uh, when they're done well, they're very good, and they're they're my my potentially my favourite types of games. They're well up there as my favourite types of games. But if they're done badly, it is, there's nothing worse. Um, so th this needs... The, the, the combat needs to be satisfactory. It needs to be satisfying. It's, you need to feel like there's weight to the character. There's weight to the attacks. It needs a great parry system. Um, I don't know what we're going to get in this. But the visuals concern me a touch. I'm not going to lie. Uncapped frame rate, okay. All right, that looks pretty cool. All right, the, okay, all right, one sec, one sec, one sec. Now, I am a little bit swayed because I know this is this was a mobile game and now it's this is the Steam this is obviously the Steam launch trailer uh that we're watching right now. But what does worry me a little bit is on the UI down here the fact that they're circular, I'm reading into this too much. I'm, I'm reading this too. It looks like it's still on mobile. You know when you get them fucking circular sticks on the side of the screen? I don't like that. I'm not a fan of that at all. All right, so there's DLC with it as well. Okay. I don't know what sort of price this we're looking at with this. Is this a full price game? There's, there's nothing on Steam listed for this. Lessons there's no price you, listed on Steam. My old friend. Not as yet anyway. I hope you find a peaceful place, eventually. It reminds me of a Final Fantasy cutscene, this, from like Final Fantasy X, but darker. Okay, Pascal's Wager Definitive Edition, um, alright. Alrighty. Look, I'm not sold on this. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. I'm trying to remain as positive as I can with all these trailers I watch, whether it's gameplay trailers or sorry, gaming trailers or, or, or movie trailers. I try and remain positive because I understand people will probably watch 
the trailer for each thing that I release, but already being a fan of it, a lot of a lot of people are, and they want to see other people's reactions. I'm completely, completely tepid on this game. All right, I do. I'm not feeling it at all. Um, I will likely check it out on Twitch when it comes out, watch some gameplay, or, or check it out on YouTube, see some people playing it in real time, and then make a conclusion as to whether I will jump into this based on that solely. But at the moment, this trailer has done nothing to make me excited about this game. And this is coming out. This is coming out in in ten days as I record this. Um, and there's not a lot else out at the moment. There's really not a lot else out. We've got the the Mass Effect um, Legacy Edition coming out towards the end of the month. But other than that, we've got a pretty dry period for gaming. And if this was awesome, we could they could fill a gap. But for me, I, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. And this is the first trailer I've reacted to where I've felt this way. So I don't know how to feel now. I feel weird. I feel weird. Okay, people. Well, look, I'm sorry. I weren't buzzing about this one. What can I say? Not everything I watch is going to be great. This might be awesome. But for me, the trailer, there's some red flags in there. There's some red flags in there for me. And um, we'll see. We'll keep our eye on it. See what it looks like when it releases in a few days' time. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and uh, subscribe to the channel for more game trailer reactions, movie reactions, and some game playthroughs as well. A couple of cheeky playthroughs. We're doing some Yakuza Judgment at the moment. And I'm playing through Ranch Simulator at the moment as well, but I don't think there's going to be more than four or five parts on that game. It's pretty broken. I'm a, man. I'm a very busy man. Very busy man. I don't have time to be playing broken video games, ladies and gentlemen. Or I don't have time to be playing games that have been converted from mobile and port it over to PC, and they're bad. And I think that's what we've got here. Thanks for watching, everybody. Peace out.